Ladies and gentlemen, well, hello and welcome to the Giganta Marina once more in Old Board live coverage of the 2014 Men's European Handball Championship. Paul Gray with you here for this final game in Group B between Hungary and Norway. And earlier today, world champion Spain beat Iceland 33-28 to make sure they took maximum points into the main round with both those teams that are already qualified. One more space remains and the maths are simple. Hungary need just a draw against Norway to book the third and final ticket into the main round. The Norwegians coming out now, huge support. 3,000 Norwegian fans making the crossing across the Katagatski from Oslo. Into the next town, just one of their team. And now, the turn of Hungary, led out by their captain, the veteran Ferenc Ijes. The Hungarians who stole a point off Iceland. A brilliant effort on their part, which makes their job a little easier today. But still, the tension will be palpable in this game. Spain, top of the group, maximum six points. Iceland, well, that draw against Hungary and then defeat earlier today against Spain leaves them on three points. And depending on who wins here today, they'll only take one point into the main round if Hungary goes through, two if Norway goes through. So for Iceland at least, a Scandinavian win would be the better option. The Hungarian fans though have different thoughts on this matter. Hungary first. Number five, And seven also running the top uh, and Hungarian club, Vesprem, perennial champions in Hungary. So now, introductions of the Norwegian team. Number one, Mauro Stahl. Number three, Sandra Sandrosen. Number eight, Jasen Reuel. Number nine, Borke Lund. Number ten, Robert Swing. Number 11, Adam Mamelud. Number 12, Ole Eredi. Number 13, Christopher Rambo. Number 15, Kent Sonnesen. Number 18, Christian O. Sullivan. Number 20, Antai Limbo. Number 21, Marlos Grohl. Number 24, Christian Schelling. Number 27, Harald Heinkins. Number 29, Stephen Logano. And number 89, Espen Hansen. And the future of Norway is... That's the Norwegian team and the coach, uh, Robert Hedin, on the right with the beard. He's actually a Swede. Remember the golden generation of uh, Swedish handball. They seem to be uh, beating everyone in front of them. And a huge home atmosphere feel for the Norwegians here. And the referees from Latvia, Sigmar Stolarovs and Rena Lisic. And uh, certainly Norway have benefited from a uh, huge band of travelling fans. They always have. And they uh, travel to major competitions. And now the anthems starting with Hungary.
the strings of the uh, Hungarian anthem when they suddenly pumped up, and now the Norwegian anthem. Plenty of passion there, and the fans bringing uh, an added dimension for them. Just a nine-hour sailing. Some of them will have arrived earlier this evening and made the 50-kilometer drive from Frederikshavn to be here. So for Hungary, well, they're without their biggest star, of course, Lazlo Nord, who's injured, but Angsin has deputised well. Left winger, veteran Ivan Cik is their top scorer. He should start with Guiz on the other wing, and the playmaker Lecky has also been very good in the tournament so far. There is the captain, Ferenc Ilyes, 184 internationals for Hungary, 472 goals. These days used mostly in a defensive role for Norway. Well, they've made one change. Rambo, the right back, has come in for the right wing of Bjornsson. They line up so with seven players making their debut in a major competition, but still have the experience of Erevik, Lund, Kjelling and Mürol. The fall back on if they need, together with a specialist defender, Mamelun. There is uh, Erevik, who played heroically in their last game when they nearly surprised the Spaniards. 33-year-old keeper actually plays here for Olbo in this very arena, along with his teammate, number 10 left winger, Hava Trenton. There is Lajos Moksoy, the uh, Hungarian coach, hoping that his team can get that draw today, but Robert Edin will have other ideas. For Norway, it's simple. They have to win if they want to go through to the main round. The referees. From uh, Latvia, as we saw earlier, Stolaros and Lisic. Well, the Hungarians trying to make uh, as much noise as they can. They're definitely outnumbered, but they're not going to be outdone. Nice picture there, the Hungarian. <laughs> Sat quietly, there is the goalkeeper, Mikler, just a 29% save rate in the competition so far. Not been too fabulous, and that is uh, Christian Schelling, who plays in Denmark as well for Bieringbro. Four of the uh, Norwegian team play in Denmark. Here we go then, in this final match in Group B in the preliminary stages. Well, not quite. There's been a problem with the clock. Wind it back again. Bring the players back to the halfway line. Little look up there by Bozidar Djokovic, the Serbian EHF observer, who pointed it out very quickly. boy, tension for a little longer. The fans just want to get it going. Especially to get the result they want. Erevik on home soil. A very experienced goalkeeper, the Norwegian, 149 caps coming here. So here we go, at the second attempt. Hungary in the all-green strip throw off this match from left to right. Norway in the all-white today. 6-0 defence early on, they will be keeping an eye out at the back though. Angshin at right back, Chazar in the centre. And at the left back, for the moment at least. Starting with uh, Anshin, switching across. Save earlier by Erevik. Come back again. Interestingly, it was Cornel Nord, who's uh, started off. Shoot specialist defender for Hungary, coming on number five. Just past the 100 cap mark for Hungary, plays for the champion's best friend. <laughs> Running play, second line player goes in, Havard fended off the goalpost, stays out. And it's a throw in, Reinkin 
trying a long-range effort, just 21 years of age. He's already scored seven in this uh, competition. And the man of the match in his uh, opening game at a major competition. Now for Moxley, the problems with his team is that uh, there was a time when he was mostly drawn from players from Vesprem and Pik Zeget, and he had them all uh, in Hungary and it was easy to get them together to train. These days, a lot of them are playing abroad in uh, big clubs in France, in Germany, in Slovenia. And the availability not quite there, and it's Hungary who get off the bar, courtesy of Gordel Notch. No relation to Laszlo Notch, the missing right back. He's missed not only for his uh, scoring prowess, he scored 647 goals for his country, but also his defensive work. These days, uh, just two players come from the uh, Hungarian Champions Best Friend, six from Pik Zeged, but they failed to qualify for the uh, Champions League main round, and so not getting a lot of international experience. And you can feel it on the Hungarian team. Oh, beautifully done by uh, O'Sullivan, but he puts it straight onto the keeper. Breakout by Hungary. Zuboy inside the area, it's a penalty. Have uh, Twenton. Together with Erevik, plays here in Holborn. Strays inside the area. Zaza. Fully done. And so, a more confident start by the Hungarians. A bit of spin on the ball. Fully done by Chaza, who plays for Paris Saint-Germain. I was saying earlier, he's one of the players who is struggling to get a bit of court time. Seven matches only. Of course, he's uh, vying for that position with Narcisse, of all people, on the French national team. Makes it difficult for him to get the court time. So, Schelling, O'Sullivan at the back. And uh, Reinkin the back line and uh, got a yellow card on the Hungarian side. Yellow 29-year-old from Kitschegged, one of the most experienced players. And struggling a little bit there with the options and in the end Schelling just tries the long-range shot, comes to nothing. Yes. Oof! Bit of luck for Erevik, not sure he knew too much about that, hits the underside of the crossbar, caught the keeper, who went off to the side instead, O'Sullivan, quick crossover, Schelling's following in now. Quick pass into the wing, not a lot of space, did really well, Tventon, and gets the Norwegians off the mark. because although they won the last encounter between these two teams, it was in the home and away World Championship qualifiers back in June 2012. They won at home 31-27 by four goals, having lost, though, the week previously by six in Hungary. It was the Hungarians who went through to the World Championships where they finished eighth, leaving Norway behind. Nicely done. And Gabor Angchin, given the job of covering for the absent Laszlo Nod scores. So five minutes played in this uh, last match in the uh, preliminary round in Group B. Four groups of four teams in uh, Euro 2014. The top three from each group go to the main round. Schelling, 33-year-old veteran. Sullivan sucks the defence in. So still close, 3 2. Well, before those uh, home and away matches in the World Championship qualifiers in June 2012, and they each uh, won their respective home matches. It was Hungary who'd beaten Norway on the previous two occasions in the World Championships in 2011 and in Germany in 2007. Looking for the 
top corner, Ang Shin, who's got a free throw. Edevik just got a hand to it, booing from the Norwegian fans. Well, he got caught uh, on the arm quite clearly by uh, Bjarte Murol. Yep, that's what the referee saw. Get the hand off, Ang Shin switches back again, they're getting in each other's way. Chaza, ball shot straight down the middle, Lund puts it up quickly. Schelling, Lund being used in defence only, the Norwegian captain, number nine, plays at home for Bodo, but uh, has played for Olvor here in the past. And also for German powerhouse Kiel. He goes off now and makes way for O'Sullivan, just 22 years of age. 18 internationals only before arriving here in Denmark. Schelling, good save by Mikler. Hungary try and bring it out quickly. Chaza looks for options. Zuboy, no one picked up the line player. Zuboy is having a good season, 45 goals in the Hungarian league, but that was well picked out by Gabor Chaza. 42 to Hungary. Gelling. Second line player goes in for Norway to give a bit of space. Mirol, penalty, fouled in the act of shooting. So much power. Yeah, the Mirol, captain of the German uh, Bundesliga side, Heine Kallöven, turns and powers him. Penalty then to be faced by Roland Mikler, big Schreger goalkeeper. And it's going to be Stefan Lukebo. Ball one, straight into the uh, goalkeeper. He's managed to retrieve the ball. And then double dribbles. Four saves already by Mikla inside eight minutes. Now the Hungarian keeper who came into this match with just a 29% save rate has done very well here. It was interesting that Lukabo, who hasn't taken a penalty yet in the competition, was given the job of taking it when you got the likes of Tretton, who scored four so far. Straight through, Chaza, second goal. Quick response though, Bjarte Murol strikes back from six meters. Two goals in it. A match that Norway must win if they want to go through to the main round. Any other result, and Hungary goes through. A yellow card for Borgelund. No argument from the uh, Norwegian captain, not straight away and accepts yellow that. So this group will merge with uh, Group A in Herning, which is where the final will be played in 10 days' time. A group where Denmark are already through at the start of today. Austria, Macedonia and the Czech Republic vying for the other two places during today's games. Oh, lovely height. Poor direction, though. Straight down the middle, and Erevik saves comfortably. Quick break. Tretton wants to get away. Tried to cut back in. Cost him in the end. Ies got there and covered him. And giving him credit where, in fact, it should have gone to Peter Guiush, 29-year-old best friend winger. Mural, trying to find a bit of space in amongst the defence. Really is a home uh, atmosphere for the Norwegians here. Schelling. Heinkin. Ah, oh, brilliant. Old bench are on their feet. First goal of the game for him. He's scored seven so far in the competition. Brilliant first game, not so hot in the second game against Spain. So Gergo Ivanci motors off into the far wing for Hungary. The most experienced player with 231 internationals. 619 goals. He tries to run in now and get on the ball, but he's blocked on the way in. And Ivanci goes back off into the wing. He's not actually the top scorer, though. That's on it. 
goes to Chaza, who's played less matches, 186, but scored 655, the Hungarian playmaker. Smile from uh, Zygma Stolaros. Atlantic's going on on the uh, line. It's a free throw. There is Chaza, top scorer for the uh, Hungarian team. Opportunity, Chaza. Chaza, who uh, unfortunately missed the uh, Olympic bronze medal playoff when Hungary made it through there. The match they lost to Croatia because he uh, injured his uh, ankle in the semi final. Here he is in action. And uh, oof, there's the blow. Mirol. got himself a yellow card for arguing with the referee and in fairness to the Hungarians the player who caught him with his knee just stumbled over him it was no ill intent I don't think so we're past the 10 minute mark and it's uh, very close here in Olbor 5-4 to Hungary great crowd here good atmosphere Hang Chin defending really deep Norway. They're waiting out at nine meters. Oh, Eredik couldn't get his hand to the ball in time to make it a goalkeeper throw. Was it necessary for Lukabu to touch the ball? It was loose anyway. He should have just let it go. There was no winger. He didn't know that. The wing had already gone back to cover in defense, Ivancic. So another opportunity. Penalty. Mamelun, the defense specialist. Well, can't really argue with that one. His arm's taken as he goes to shoot. Ang Chin. And he says, I got the ball, but he got the arm as well, unfortunately. Chaza then. Nicely put away, waits for the goalkeeper to lift the leg, puts it next to the standing leg. Chaza, that's right, he scored. I don't think you need to uh, <laughs> give him any more instructions. So a change there with Iyash taking up post in defence. An attacking foul by Murol. And uh, Lisic says he used his elbow. Chaza, oh, brilliant. And a good save by Erevic. Five saves for the Norwegian keeper who plays for Old Boy in this arena. And it gets all the neutrals and the Danes on their side as well. The Scandinavian connection is all there. Shoe Boy comes out, drops back in, but he doesn't flatten the defence. He's still out at nine metres, struggling to find any space. Oh, the whole defence followed him, and Angstrin stayed back, and no one was there. Tvedton was halfway to the. Uh, Penalty line. Second goal for Angshin. Look at the whole defence run back. Uh, Harvard, Trenton, the 35-year-old, the other one who plays for Olbo, and uh, remonstrations from Erevik. Where was the defence? They've gone three down now. Ivancic focused as ever in defence. Schelling, oh, over the top, uh, they just can't get through the defence, resorting to long-range efforts and uh, Hungary will be fine with that. No, 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 no. Hungary who uh, have lost their very experienced uh, goalkeeper, Nando Fajikas, who made that crucial save at the uh, London Olympics in the quarter-final against Iceland, saved a penalty 10 seconds in the end. Hungary scored an equaliser off his save in the remaining seconds. Then uh, qualified for the semi final in extra time against Iceland. Kaiser Castro has retired now. Saved by Erevik, the ball's loose. And uh, the Hungarians down in the area while play continues. They are back now to full strength. Mural tries to turn, goes to the wing. Trenton, yes! Beautifully taken. He was leaning off to the right hand side. 
And whilst he was still falling, twisted his body back to shoot on the inside post. Second goal for him. And there was a little foul as Jouboy seemed to uh, give a push to Murol. Look at this, falls the other way, turns his whole body at the top to the inside line. to call still, but at the moment at least the Hungarians looking slightly more ordered. And certainly in defence, they're forcing the Norwegians a long way out. Zuboy, Mamelund gives away the penalty again. Mamelund just grabs him and falls with him. Locking his hands down, and, uh, an easy decision for the Latvian referees. Change of keeper. Magnus Dahl comes in. He's saved two from four penalties he's faced so far. The uh, Wetzlar goalkeeper. Can he stop Chazar? He can't. Goal number four. Three of them to the seven-metre line. And as we hit the midway point in the first half, this penalty. It's a three-goal lead to Hungary. Sullivan comes around the outside. And Sullivan goes wide now, trailing. And again, they have to resort to shooting from a long way out, but a little bit of luck as the ball clips the post, catches the back of the goalkeeper and goes in. Trailing shot, and Niklai caught it with his head, knocked it back into his own goal. That was unlucky for the Hungarian keeper. but uh, not going for them for the moment. Tries to go in, that's an attacking foul. By Cornel Nodge. And we have Hansen on. He's just come on and scores instantly, Hansen. 24-year-old who plays in France for Dunkirk. but he can't get it through to uh, Solosi and they've lost possession. Norway come away with it. Erdik punches the air. Lund still in the attack. And that's another one. Good run by Norway and it's all square. Gullerud. Another one of their newcomers, just 22 years of age. Team timeout. They've just conceded three goals without reply. Space of two and a half minutes. Spell by the uh, Norwegians. Donnell Nodge for the Hungarians, struggling a bit, one goal from four, but Chazar, their top scorer with four, three of them from the penalty line. And equally, uh, Schelling, one from four only for Norway, but a lot of it is a long-range effort when they get stuck and they just can't break through the defence. Try and resort to that. Want to see more information and behind-the-scenes information, you can uh, go onto the website, ehf-euro.com. You can join the Twitter feed at uh, hashtag EHF Euro 2014. Erevik, seven saves. 
Uh, just past the 17-minute mark, and having been uh, three goals adrift, Norway have got themselves level again. So for the Hungarians, Matej Lecky has come in, the 25-year-old uh, number 66, plays for Selye in Slovenia. Angzin, and again, some of the Hungarian shooting is poor. It's going straight down the middle. Oh, desperate measures. They almost play too fast for their own good. The ball knocked out of play, luckily for them, by Zalafai. Leaves possession with Norway. As uh, O'Sullivan comes on, number 18, and uh, not a very Norwegian-sounding name, you'll say. His grandfather was British, and in fact, his father played for Great Britain back in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, they've always lived in Norway. It's a great hope for uh, O'Sullivan, just 22 years of age, 18 caps. He scored 64 goals in the Norwegian League for Bakalaget this season. Oh, it's gone through! A two-minute suspension for Angshin. The goal's not given. Had the whistle already gone, I wonder. There's the push. Well, the referee, you can see, pointing almost simultaneously. He was probably blowing as the shot was taken. Frustration for the Norwegians. And if he has blown, then he can't give the goal. So Sullivan marshals uh, the players around him. Tries to go through. That'll be a free throw again. Schelling. They do get uh, caught into awkward situations with some very good defending by uh, the Hungarians. Brilliant lob. Lofted that one quite away. Lookable. On Tamas Moksoy, number six, as the playmaker. He's actually the coach's son, one of the most experienced players, 179 internationals. Comes off a defender, that will be a throw in from the corner, the shot by Lecky. Moksoy again. Moksoy plays for Hanover in Germany, but is returning to Veszprém in Hungary, essentially to cover for Laszlo Nodja's injury. So passive play being called against the Hungarians and they've lost possession, they went looking for too many solutions. Banchik went left when there was actually no one to pass to over there and Moksoy annoyed that they've given away possession cheaply. 20 minutes played. Straight over the head of the keeper. Trial are on their feet, Schillings. Second goal. Now from the worst place for the goalkeeper to try and stop it just over his head. And Hungary uh, have served out that two minute suspension now and back in on the line. The Sabolch Sulushi. 24 year old. Played at the World Championships last year and the clock's been stopped. Touch you up on end of the HF supervisor. I think if we had a problem with the Hungarians putting their player back on at the wrong time, I wonder. And if that's the case, it'll be counted as a uh, faulty sub. Effectively, goes back off the game. Anxious moments for the Hungarians while the Norwegian fans are celebrating. No, it uh, looks, given the reaction of uh, Leos Moksai, hopefully, that uh, they decided they were OK. He's given a paper with a time at which his player can go back on. They put it on a, a little stand at the end of the table. And that tells you when. And it's your job to keep an eye on the clock above and go on. But, uh, for a moment there, that would have been unfortunate to say the least. Mock sorry. Into 
the wing. Ah, oh, lovely play. Dropped his wrist back, took the pace right off it. Attila Vatkerti, his oh, first goal of the game. Oh, One goal lead, but we've got a suspension. Is it so? So the suspension number is number four. So you yeah, caught him team. high. Anything around neck height and you're off. As the Reinkin came driving in. Another one of the Norwegian youngsters. They do have, I must say, a great future, the Norwegians, when you look at some of the youngsters here. And uh, Hedin, the coach there, never afraid to put them on, even when it's tight in matches so far. He's kept the youngsters on. Because that's how you learn. Mirol, two on the line. O'Sullivan's waiting there, didn't get the ball though. Flattens the defence enough though to get the long range shot in. Reinkin, his third goal. Crowd are loving it. Two goal lead now for Norway. O'Sullivan holding uh, the defence back. Stad suddenly are sliding backwards now, four saves only. Erevic's on eight. Putic off, off the bar. Picked up by uh, Tvetin, but inside the area. Not sure that uh, Erevic touched it. We'll see it better from this one here. No, he didn't. Shot taken by uh, Barna Putic, 29-year-old, has come on at left back. Plays for Bumuspar in the Bundesliga. Oh, deflection. Erevik, wrong-footed. Lecky gets his first of the game. See here who he touched. And he came off Borgelund. Oh, no, no, no. Short-handed, they managed to pull one back at least. We roll again. They try the move in reverse this time. Ah, oh, brilliant. But this time it did go to the line. O'Sullivan waiting for it. Lovely feed in for him. Telling. They were expecting him to go up and shoot and do the same move as they did last time round, but instead, sent it to six meters. Mamelun back on again, the defence specialist alongside Bogolund. Numbers two and three from the left hand side of the uh, Norwegian defence as you look at it from the back. Salafai tries to get in behind, and there's a lot of running going on. He's had to come all the way back. Lecky. Free throw. Good solid defending by Norway. Passive play is going to come soon. Putic, Lecky, ah, oh, brilliant. Caught it in midair and shot. Playmaker from Celia. He's got such a nice jump on him as well, Lecky. One goal in it, 12-11. Schelling, oh, this time Mikla just got his foot to it. It's gone off behind for a goalkeeper throw. Fifth save of the game for Mikla. A bit of cleaning on the ball as uh, Lecky goes off to fetch it. 66. He missed the last European Championship through a knee injury. Shot again, just managed to leave his foot down. So, Mokshai, not been much in evidence for number six for uh, Hungary at this stage. Good defending. Gullerud coming out a long way to stop the crossover moves, but eventually they overlap the defence, but he saved it. Tretton takes the ball away. Breakout by Norway. Hungary is ever getting back quickly, but they managed to keep the movement on the ball. Norway looking for the win. He didn't get it, and now it's going the other way. Nice one-handed take by Lecky, and he scores, and they're level. Nice take under pressure by the 25-year-old Hungarian playmaker. Inside post. How quickly fortunes change. One minute it's a fast break, one 
direction and uh, within five seconds the goal is in the ball at the other end. Schelling. O'Sullivan to the line. Oh, bounced right into the feet of Mural, but it's come all the way through. Tvet, and he's got no power, but he's got the penalty. Took off with uh, no running. And he's left Lecky completely winded on the ground. The ball went all the way through the area. No one picked it up, and then Lecky puts his hand up and impedes Tvet and tries to say he didn't, but uh, he did. So Tvetan will take it now after the earlier miss. Scored four from six in the competition so far. And he scores. Third goal for him in the game. Ahead again, four minutes remaining in the first half. Well, it almost looked effortless, like he can't quite believe his luck. Saw a gap in the defense, launched the ball, not a very hard shot. Benton's looking back at uh, Erevik. Over comes in, Mural drops back in again. O'Sullivan doesn't stay. And uh, too much pushing on the line by uh, Schelling, who'd just gone in there. And uh, Hungary break out. Lecky, free throw. Fouled as he went through, and Schelling goes off. There's the foul again. Industrious Lecky at the moment, he's everywhere, charging back in defence, he's uh, leading all the attacks. Still Sabok, Sulushi on the line, the number four, trying to make himself some room, three minutes remaining. Ah, oh, done, Sulushi. Great feed into him, and the other line player, Zuboy, stands to applaud him. It's just swinging one way, then the other. Now it's Hungary who lead by one. Now it's a real pressure game for both these teams. Norway have to win. There's no other result that's going to get them through to the main round. possession and will keep the momentum going rather as uh, Tvetan comes around and uh, Shrew brings down O'Sullivan getting a little bit untidy in there and they uh, stop so they can mop the floor up happens right in front of uh, Stolarov the referee uh, tension for the coaches pacing up and down It's only going to get worse as the second half goes on. Stakes so high here. The loser can pack their bags tonight and head home in the morning. Free throw for Norway. Two minutes to go. Mural. experienced team of the two. They average 108 internationals per player compared to Norway's 78, helped to a great extent by the fact that Lund and Tretton both have over 200 internationals each. And Mural and Schelling and Erevik have over 150. That's off the crossbar, lucky break for the Hungarians who break out. Ies going forwards, but uh, he will come off now and do the uh, defence substitution. Stay on, says uh, the coach, head in, and O'Sullivan will individually mark Lecky, who's been causing most of the problems in attack. So they switch from a 6-0 to a 5-0-1 defence. To the line, brilliant. 
One-handed catch by Solushi. Hadn't scored in the opening uh, two games. In fact, only played 27 minutes, Solushi. Uh, nice and fresh, you could say, then. Scores two goals here today. Team timeout for Norway now, with Hungary leading 15-13. One minute and ten seconds remaining in the game. Kedin, who's been in charge of Norway since 2008, trying to rebuild their team with some of the talented youngsters. Around. Seven of their players have not played in a uh, major competition before Norway. It's a lot of people to put it in one go to get uh, the experience. The shoe boy pumped up at the back there. Unlikely to be substituted, I would imagine, at this stage. With Solushi playing so well on the line. But Lecky is the one who's been causing the problems. A testament to his uh, hard work is the fact that Norway now individually marking him. Norway resumed. Two goals down. Just over a minute left. That was very close. There's not much going on at the moment. The Hungarians are soaking up the pressure. Mirol getting involved in a bit of a tussle there to get the ball, and even Schelling steps in and says, let's calm things down here, it's not necessary. Iyech, the Hungarian captain involved in that tussle. And, uh, we have 41 seconds remaining. Norway need to make this a long attack, so they don't give time for the Hungarians to get back at them. And there's Schelling, very wisely, 33-year-old veteran who plays for Jeringbo in Denmark. Norwegians play in Denmark, known to the home crowd. Schelling looks for the line. Well, he was being held. Oh, it's in! Long range shot. Moxoy can't quite believe it. Gifted. Lecky spotted that Erevik was outside his goal. Full length shot. That would have been 32, 33 meters. Few seconds left now. Schelling needs to take it. Someone's got to shoot. Have they looked at the clock again? No, they haven't. They've lost possession. And that's it. Half time goes. 16 13 to Hungary with Erevik. Here it comes again. Intercepted. Lecky sees that Erevik is out. He's running back in. But he's beaten. Brilliant play. That could be the difference at the end, who knows? So at half time, it's Hungary 16, Norway 13. Teams make their way off, and uh, Norway looking a little bit pressured at the end, getting too close and making mistakes, giving possession away. And they've been hit with a lot of fast breaks and phase two attacks by the Hungarians. So. Uh, Let's have a look at the stats then for the first half. 62% success rate on the attacks for Hungary, 50% only for Norway, although that said they're very closely matched, 57%, 60% on the actual throwing. Two fast breaks for Hungary, one for Norway. Both are falling back very fast, but Norway, six turnovers. And that's made some of the difference, two for the Hungarians. And they're paying the price, getting in too close and being hit on the break. They've got to really tidy that up in the second half. Top scorers, well, you saw it very quickly. It was Lecky with uh, five, who's uh, top scoring for Hungary. While well, uh, Reinkin and Tretten have three goals apiece for Norway. Chaza, the other top scorer for the Hungarians, with four. This is the uh, progression. There was a 3 0 exchange early on, and it just took the uh, Norwegians too long to get into the game. And then they've had a couple of spells when they stopped scoring, but then equally, so did the uh, Hungarians. They went five minutes without scoring, conceded four goals, and 
then all the good work was thrown away. This is where the goals are going in for the Hungarians. Three penalties, two fast breaks. Not much uh, going in on the uh, left and right back positions for Norway. The wingers, very successful. Long range shooting in the middle, not so much, I'm afraid. The right side's working, the left side less so. One penalty from two and one fast break. So at half time, then Hungary 16, Norway 13. We'll take a short break. Join us again in just a few moments. We'll see you then.
back to the Gigantium Arena in Olbor. The final match in this arena before the competition moves to the main round. And the teams will travel across to Herning, a little further south in Jutland. And they will merge with uh, Group A. Uh, Denmark already qualified from that group. So, uh, Erivik comes back on again, limbering up for the second half. Nine saves in the first half, 38% save rate, but I'm afraid a 4-0 exchange at the end of the first half has seen Norway's 13-12 lead become a 16-13 deficit, including a rather uh, unfortunate long-range uh, pass, or shot rather, by uh, Lecky to beat Erevik, who stepped out of his area got caught napping. So, uh, a bit more of a mountain to climb now for the Norwegians in a match they must win if they want to continue in the competition. For the Hungarians who finished uh, eighth two years ago. They are determined to stay in the competition. Never won it the team has for that matter that's Angshin, two goals so far have to fill some rather big boots of uh, Laszlo Notch is away injured the fans are looking a little forlorn at the moment and Schelling the old pro trying to keep things steady with his team Cycling levels got a little too high. So the last uh, match between these teams, a Norwegian victory in Oslo in uh, June 2012 in a World Championship qualify didn't help them, mind you. They lost by a larger margin the week before in Hungary. In fact, uh, Hungary had won nine out of 13 encounters between these teams. They were heading looking to turn that over today, but. Uh, the Hungarians if they have anything to say with this. Looking to go through. If they win, of course, here, Norway won't go through. The result wouldn't be carried, but they would carry the point that they earned a valiant uh, battle with uh, Iceland. The Hungarian win is not what the Icelanders want. They'd rather see the Norwegians go through, so they get at least two points rather than one. Lund and uh, Lund. Match uh, ritual. So we're just about ready for the second half. This is it now. Hang on to your hats. 30 minutes to decide who's finished in this competition. And Norway are going to bring in Tunnison. He's only played 16 minutes in the competition so far in the second match, but scored three from four. Here we go then, Norway throw off the second half of the last Group B match of the preliminary stages here in Olbor. They trail 13-16. So Tunison, the obvious change, number 15 at the bottom of the picture, the 22-year-old who plays for Wetzlar in Germany. Eighth top scorer in the German Bundesliga, he's got a thundering shot. Lee Hansen, 89. Is on as the playmaker. O'Sullivan. Mural did well. The ball almost beyond his reach, but somehow Bjarte Mural, the Rheinecker Leuven captain, managed to grab it back one handed and put it past Miklair. That's one back. So for the Hungarians, Barna Putic, as he was at the end of the first half, at left back. Lecky who's been sensational for Hungary in the centre. Here he comes. 
Uh, on this occasion, the collision dislodges the ball, but the referee says it was fair. And at right back, it was Mokshoi. O'Sullivan, Tennyson, they push up very quickly onto him. Shoes keeping a close eye. They know how hard his shot is. Shoe got him again. Mural bundled over, gets a free throw. Left up to his feet by Yes. Mural, who scored 80 times for his club, Reine Kalurven in Germany. Tenth top scorer. Moxa is pushed a long way forwards and uh, Lookable comes around to try and exploit that space. Two on the line. Trying to flatten the defence. Oh, good save by Mickler. Into the wing, brilliant. Suck the defence in, it's over. And Erevik has hurt himself as he pulled a muscle going in. Did he slide on the net? And that's not looking good. And the veteran keeper looks in agony. The doctor's straight on. Let's see, the, there's the uh, pass. Nicely opened up. Ivancic scores. He runs back. Well, it's before it's not on the net. As he turns, obviously, that uh, he's pulled the muscle, I suspect. Take a while to register, and suddenly, there it is. Gustal getting ready potentially to go on the 25 year old goalkeeper from Wetzlar, still uh, heading a smile, but a concerned one, nevertheless. Erevik is helped up. No, well, it doesn't look as serious as we first feared. He was screaming in agony. There was no obvious twist in the slow motion replay that we could see. But he looks uh, okay and he's going to carry on playing. Nevertheless, though, the goal by Gergo Ivanci. It's a three goal lead to uh, Hungary and. Uh, Hansen's also got himself yellow carded for arguing with the referee. He felt there was an attacking foul by Moxroy on the way in. Nice play! Side netting, but that's a penalty. Push on O'Sullivan as he went through. And the clock is stopped as Roland Mikler goes off and makes way for Peter Tatai to come in. Both of them play for Pik Zsegen. Hungarian number two club. And Tretton's going to step up now to take the penalty. First action for Tatai in the game. Coolly taken by Tretton. Little broken wrist shot. Just rolls it off his fingertips, spins over the keeper, who comes straight back off the gate. And Nicolai goes in. Moksoy, Putic, Lecky looking back in on the line. Two of them have gone down. Nothing, say the referees. As Zuboy and Murol get up again, Erevik needs someone to pass to. So Mamelun goes off the defender. Tunison comes in. He's got space. Oh, straight into the middle as Mikler reads it well and jumps across to his left. And Erevik mops it up. No ill effects, it seems, from that uh, earlier skid for the old ball keeper. Four minutes in, plenty of time yet. This game can take all kinds of twists and turns. And Sullivan goes across. Tennyson loitering again, but they're pushing right up on O'Sullivan on the far side. Tries to look for the line. No way through, and uh, Hansen gets a free throw. 24 year old who plays in France for Dunkirk.
Antonison. He just can't get the run up because Zuboy keeps on running. He's uh, getting in the way of his run, moving up as uh, O'Sullivan fouled again. And it's another free throw for Norway. And uh, the defence has been superb by uh, Hungary in the game today. Defending solidly in the first half. Certainly the Norwegians often uh, resort to just to long-range shots in the absence of being able to do anything else. Uh, Erebik looks on, just mindful that uh, he got lobbed full court earlier. He's uh, got to stay close to his line. O'Sullivan, Tunison, Mural can't do anything there. It's a very closed angle and Miklaer saves it. Picked up by Tunison again in Norway. Stay on the attack. So Mural out, tries to flatten the defence. Deep the uh, Hungarian defences. Now there's a bit of space on the wing. Beautiful. Lookable. Spins the ball, drops it next to the goalkeeper, and it goes in behind him. Went for the high shot, then brought it down again. Miklat tried to dive. Best shot so far. Six year old, he plays in Germany for Emstetten. One goal in it now, five minutes into the second half. Better from uh, this angle here. Just look at the spin he puts on the ball. Well, we're not going to see it because play resumes. And a two-minute suspension for Shu as well. Machine Shu, the defence specialist. For the moment, they have no line play, but the winger goes in instead for the moment. Chaza has come on. Tries to go through, Mamelun holds him up, but it's a free throw. Good defending by the 29-year-old uh, veteran from Haslam. It's, uh, interestingly, a defence specialist for the national team, Mamelun, but is actually top scorer in the Norwegian league with 98 goals this season. substitutions between attack and defense power play for Norway who trail now by only one goal this is the do or die match lose this and you're heading home in the morning Tennyson into the wing that's good there's a bit of space Fetten saved by Miklair touches Fetten on the way back he thought he should have got a free throw but I think that was a good call by the referee nine saves by Miklair well there may be a push on his uh, in his stomach as he went up. So Ivancic goes in on the line. Well, he's trying to, he can't get past the wall. Lecky. Lecky again. And a uh, little uh, bit of shoving and uh, pushing going on between Mamelund and Guiush. Referee comes in to calm things down. Guiush goes on, head down to the other side. Reprimanded. Mamelun looks unconcerned. Mokshoi, passive play's got to come up surely. It does. Referee's arm goes up. Lecky shoots. Oh, he scores! He can't fail, it seems. Six goal for him. Goal, Hungary. Number six is Martin Now they've done well, Hungary. They've run the clock down, and not only that, they scored right at the end of it. Lecky playing in uh, Leslie Rogers' position, really giving his teammates all kind of confidence. Six goals from seven attempts. O'Sullivan hangs for a long time, and it's uh, maybe touch slightly to take some of the sting out of the shot by the defenders. Hang in the air for a long time. They covered one side, Miklair covered the other. And Miklair, thanks to defenders, good understanding between them. Zuboy back on the line now as Chaza has shifted into the left back position. They're doing running play now. Both of those players like to try and drive through the defense rather than shoot over the top. Lecky, oof, into the feet of uh, Chaza. Surely touched his foot. 
Ross. And uh, an attempt to pick the ball up in here, it didn't come off. Newell was so sore that it touched his feet, he was already off on the break. Oh, off the crossbar! No luck for Lukabu. The spin but stays out. So for the moment, still a two goal lead for Hungary. Mokshoi. Chazar cuts back inside again, releases the wing, but he was too high, but he was being held by Mamelund. It's a free throw. Lecky, straight through, a lovely feed of the ball into Zuboy. Second goal for the line player. Three goal leads back again. Well, the uh, gap opens up once more and Norway have to start eating away this lead all over again. Oh, intercepted. Ball's in the air, but Zuboy fouled as he tried to control the ball. And Timoshin Shu as he goes past the number five, saying, calm down, don't try and rush the ball up. With Ten minutes into the second half, a three-goal lead, and the more you rush things, the more likely you are to make mistakes. They don't need to. They're in control at the moment. Well, the smaller band of Hungarian supporters trying to uh, make themselves heard, chanting above the... Uh, Norwegian and Danish fans. Save, but still there, he's inside the area, Zuboy, as he picks up the loose ball. Norway now, they've got the extra man if they're quick. Oh, tried to go all the way. Shot straight past the end, the shot by Espen Lee Hansen. Not the right choice. Players around him, but he tried to do it all on his own. And Lecky punishes him on the return with his seventh goal. Well, again, Zuboy is holding back two defenders. Hungarian oh, fans jumping around. Biggest lead yet, 2016. Three goals without reply. Saved by Mikla, it's still in play. Scores on the return. Betson with his fifth goal. Lucky break for him as the ball came off Mikla. Already, uh, we should have started moving up court. We on the far side. Starts to go a little bit deeper to try and stretch the defence. Putic has now come in for Hungary, number 11. At left back, the Gumaspach player. Very slow attacks by Hungary, and they're right to do that because it brings up the tension for the Norwegians. Clock's not on their side. Passive play's got to come now, it does. Referee's arm goes up. Deliberately long attacks. Blocked by the defence, the ball's come out again. Borgelun looks for options, has to pass it back. Gullerud stays to going on the line. And again, wrong choice by Hansen. Second time, he's just gone straight to blast it. He's going to get off. Robert Heading's going to have a word with him, I suspect. Maybe time to bring uh, Schelling back in again. Hansen, well, he's an experienced player. 61 internationals for Norway. Played at the World Championships in 2011 and two years ago at the Euros. Should know better. Heredic gets that one, though. Norwegian 
fans finding something to cheer about. So, and he's done exactly that. A very wise choice to get uh, Christian Schelling back in at the left back position. And into the centre comes Sander Sagosen, the number three, just 18 years of age, three internationals only before coming to the European Championships. An exciting young player as Tunison blasts the long range effort. First goal for him, two goals in it. Traza, quick response. Fifth goal for the uh, Paris Saint Germain playmaker. Tunison quickly closed down by Schu, but that will be a free throw. Solid defending by Schu and Iyesh in the picture there, the captain of Hungary. Back comes number three, place for Haslam. 72 goals in the uh, Norwegian league for the number three for Norway. Second line play goes in. Well, he's got his goal. Second one of the uh, competition, first one today. And that's why Robert Hedin has decided to bring him into the team. At just 18 years of age. Shot straight down the middle this time. Attempts to pick up the rebound by uh, Sulu. She comes to nothing, goes on the side. We're past the halfway point in the second half. Straight in, that's better. Schilling, inspired change, third goal for him. Suddenly, the volume's rising in the arena again. returns to the fray for Hungary on the far side. He's being very closely marked though. They know the danger. Lecky goes in. Poor shot. Completely saved by Erevik. Mamelun looks for options. Oh, attacking foul by Borgolun. The captain runs straight into the defender. But the free throw not taken from the right place. They have to bring it back. Defending, he went up and uh, held his spot. Angshin, wry smile, but uh... so a couple of quick goals, and the game looks a bit different all over again. Nine turnovers suffered by Norway, still too much. Four for Hungary. Chaza. who uh, this will be a free throw played heroically uh, against Spain a couple of days ago and he went down 25 27 to them could have pulled off a surprise passive play against Hungary need options quickly and they found it pushed the ball into the line and Solushi was there Traza defense just moved up too much this time and the two goal lead restored Suspension, but, uh, celebrations for the 24 year old from Churgo. That's not looking too good. We seem to have a bit of a, an injury to the shoulder of Gullerud. And uh, that's why there was pulling by Schelling on the shirt. through yes oh came off a defender though throw in from the corner Tretton takes it and still he's getting treatment Gullerud that doesn't look good not been so much in evidence in uh, attack although he has scored a goal but uh, very much so in defense oh 
Brilliant goal, dropping to the floor, selling. Fourth goal. Fantastic. Lies and shoots across. One goal in it, 12 minutes remaining. High drama here in Obo in the final game in this arena at Euro 2014. The whole defence pushes up. Solusi tries to go in behind to uh, drag them back. Lecky takes a free throw. <laughs> Saved by Arevic. by Erevik, 44% save rate. Trust us against Spain in the second half, he's uh, really risen to the challenge here. One goal in it. Tennyson, oh, through the legs of Murol. Was the fantastic pass, but still. Head in, pacing incessantly on the bench. He wants to be a coach just now. Given. Norwegians looking for the attacking foul, but it didn't come and Solushi's goal counts. Well, the defender was outside the area, heading. Can't believe it. Team timeout for Norway and uh, uh, well, Schelling still exchanging a few comments with the Latvian referees on the way off. They just need to keep their heads, there's plenty of time. We've got over 10 minutes remaining, there's just two goals in it. Another turnovers, 10. Norway for the Hungary. Yeah. Norway, you haven't had the best of preparations for the uh, European Championships, played in the Golden League tournament in France just before they came here. Lost to Denmark, Qatar and France, although very close to defeat to France, probably the best game. And then when they played in the, an earlier edition of the same tournament on home soil in Oslo, they lost to Croatia and France, but did beat Denmark. That was the high point for them. Some of the 11 saves made by uh, Nicolas so far in the game. There are the ball and matching him, though, down the other end with 17 saves, 44% success rate. A lot of that in the second half. Play resumes. Ten minutes remaining. It will be the last ten minutes of the European Championships for one of these teams, and uh, it could be Norway if they carry on making unforced errors like that. Last one uh, passed to the line. Player went through the legs. Now a pass to the winger. This is the intended target altogether. Very long attacks by Hungary. Deliberately trying to take the pace off the game. Too many steps. He was skipping around. Tvetun. Yes, goes very high, but drops the ball with spin underneath the keeper. Gets his sixth goal. And it's another one goal game, and they've got the ball straight back again. Hungary rush it. There's the goal, beautifully done. Spins it underneath Miklair. Hungary took a quick throw off and then fumbled the ball in the wing on the far side. Concentration really needed. And still in this pressure situation, like I said earlier, head in. Happy to leave on the youngsters. Sagerson inside netting. Tvetan, no luck that time. Redden 
six from eight still though. Epic contribution from him. So Angshin on the far side. But Gerti now the wingers come in as an extra line player. Shaza shoots down the middle, he's got a free throw. And again the referees seeing a situation, six of one, half dozen of the other. But Gerti being spoken to. I'm not sure who's involved on the Norwegian side. It was uh, Murol. Eight minutes to go. Oh, Erevik beaten at the near post. Gabor Angsin's third goal. Windmill feint to get past Murol. And then he exploited the space behind with a lot of power behind his shot. And for holding him back, Murol has got himself Go sent off. It's only their first two minutes suspension in the game. And we've had three. Tunison. Mamelun stays on for the attack now. Number 11 has been used almost exclusively as a defence specialist. And another fantastic goal by Schelling. Fifth goal for him. He's got such a quick arm when he's shooting low. He's done a couple of those and they're almost unstoppable. The goalkeeper will suddenly see the ball appear at the last second in between defenders. Too many steps, surely. Oh, the penalty's given. Defending inside the area, says the Zygmar Stolarovs. Foul on Angshin. Edin takes uh, Tatyo Arponen, the Finnish EHF uh, representative aside. I thought he'd taken too many steps to start with. Chaza scores. Fourth penalty for the Hungarian playmaker. Two goal leads back again and they still have a minute on the power play. Goal. And it goes the wrong way. Seven minutes remaining then, Hungary lead in a match which they can afford to draw and still go through to the main round. Luka Buk goes in on the line, Tunison. Free throw given very late, the referee at the back, Nisic wasn't going to give it, I don't think, he kept his arms down. It's the referee at the back and uh, heading was he wanting more than a free throw? Same move again. Lukabu comes in, goes in on the line. Schelling, play on. Mamelun tries to go in. Tunison fumbles it. Passive play now being warned against the Norwegians. And uh, even Schelling can't score from that kind of range. Six minutes remaining, but Norway are at least back to full strength again. They are two goals adrift. In time out for Hungary, Laius Mokshai. Well, Hungary have uh, spent most of the game trying to take the pace off it. They know that the Norwegians like the quick play, the fast breaks. And he just doesn't want to give them the opportunity to get running too much because then there's always a danger that your team tries to speed up and play the same pace. And at the moment, they're doing it really, really well. Shot efficiency quite close. 57% for Hungary, 53 for Norway. Well, it's doable. Best time is uh, running down. We have about five and a half minutes remaining in the game, and there are two goals adrift. And it seems that's about the mark they get to. And then the Hungarians somehow open up again. Wow, deep 
for defending now. It's very open. Shoeboy tries to exploit the space at the back, but it's a free throw. And again, no rush for the uh, Hungarians. Lecky looks for the line, goes nowhere. And Derevic just managed to touch it. They come off the defender on the way through to make sure it's a goalkeeper throw. Yes. It was touched by a defender as it came through. So at this most critical of moments, they have an 18-year-old debutant playing in the central role. That's trust. Here he comes. Trelling. Sargosun tries to shoot, goes in the side net, he's won a free throw. Not showing any nerves at the moment, Sander Sargosun. 72 goals in the Norwegian league. He's been there and he's done a lot of that before already. Schelling, that won't open up anything as uh, the defence doesn't shift. That does now though. Mural, oh, saved off Miklair. Falls kindly. Ies picks up the loose ball. Four minutes to go, and still that two-goal gap won't close for Norway. Murol had to check himself and come back. Puts it onto the leg of the keeper. Came off a defender, it'll be a throw-in to Hungary, and uh, again, Chaza happy to take time with the throw-in. Pressure really mounting now on Norway. Passive play is being warned. They've got to shoot soon. Lecky, how long are they going to be given? And they've lost it now. Tvedton cuts back towards the middle. <laughs> Defense so close. And Schelling says, come out, come out, get organized. We're just messing around at the moment. There's no sense of urgency, but uh, there should be. Three minutes remaining. Two goals, the difference, and they've got to win the game, Norway, so they need three and to shut out the Hungarians. That's one. The irrepressible Schelling. Six goal. Well, he has scored some absolutely superb long-range efforts today. They need two more, but they've got to shut out the Hungarians completely as well. One more goal from the Hungarians. Oh, that's saved. Oh, the rebound falls kindly to Zuboy. Third goal for him, and it's all to do again. Three goals. Oh, how unlucky for Norway. Right, they're getting ready to take off the goalkeeper, and it looks like O'Sullivan will be the one to go on. Oh, just beyond the outreach chance, but he's fouled. Mural, he's got a free throw. They need a bit of urgency here, the Norwegians. Three goals needed. Still the goalkeeper top going on. Mural still looking cool as a cucumber, but his heart must be beating at 110 miles an hour, as must most of the supporters in the arena. They need something, and they need it very, very quick, Norway. Clock's been stopped, and we've got a two-minute suspension. Zuboy is off. An apology from Zuboy. So the uh, Hungarians are going to finish the match short-handed. He uh, grabs a shirt and tries to rip it off for Mjol. Best to wait till the end of the game normally to swap shirts, but there you go. So, power play for the remainder of the game, but it's a mountain to climb. They've got so much to do. Three goals. The crowd doing their best. Tunison into the wing. That's one. The Hungarians will take their time, though. Look at the scorer with his third goal. Lecky, 
No goal, they'll come back again. Clock's been stopped. Hungarian's happy to let time go on. Lecky continued running after the whistle and uh, hence the referees stop the clock. Wouldn't necessarily do it, but uh, I think they can see what's going on here. But Gerti waits to take the free throw. Hungary, one minute and ten seconds away from a place in the main round. They're individually marking up front now. Ball's loose, Norway have it. Who's coming back to take it? Tennyson. We're inside the last minute, but they need two goals, Norway. If they can score quickly now, then it'll have to be man-to-man -man marking. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, and a team timeout's called as much as anything else to spare their blushes. A poor pass. Deary me. Surely they run out of time now. Well, they'll take the goalkeeper out. They've got to throw everything in now. It will have been an incredible experience if they don't make it through for some of these youngsters in the Norwegian team and a bright future for them as they look to rebuild. Best finish of the European Championship for them was uh, on home soil. 2008 when they finished sixth. Here at the moment they're staring down the barrel of a preliminary round exit. So Sullivan's been named and he's got the goalkeeper's bib on at the moment. Well, they still have to believe but uh, the odds are stacked against them now. The Hungarians even if they concede a goal now, just have to keep their heads and run the clock down. 38 seconds is just not going to be enough for Norway. It's been high drama here, and uh, Erevik, almost like a sprinter at the start line, is waiting to come on in case Sir Sullivan, who's taken on the goalkeeper's bib, is required. That's in! Tretton, seventh goal. They'll wait at the halfway line, surely. They've got to steal the ball back now. It's all square here, but it's still enough for the Hungarians. Man to man, will they make a mistake? Team timeout, Hungary. Well, a friendly exchange there between Lecky and Twitten. Wow, brilliant play and a very close angle shot by Twetten to level the score. 21 seconds for Hungary to keep their heads. Now, as you say, well, if you've got nothing else to do in this five seconds left, launch the ball as high as you can in the stands. I'm not sure that helps because the clock will be stopped instantly. Well, he's uh, wants Sir Sullivan on, but he wants the goalkeeper on as well now for obvious reasons because they're on the receiving end. So he's got to pick players who are likely to steal the ball and take it up quickly. You effectively don't want your back players as much as anything else. Now you want your wingers on. So they all pick out a player. And I remember, of course, they got the extra player because it's a power play for the Norwegians at the moment with the uh, suspension for Zuboy. One spare player to push up. They've just got to keep the ball moving, Hungary. Stolen, but goes out, it's a throw-in. And they'll take time over it. Stolen, and again it's given to Hungary. Seconds to go, they've done it, they've done it. There's the high lob. Oh, heartbreak for Norway, so close and yet so far. And Norway exit the competition, Hungary. In the end, get the draw they needed, the bare minimum. At one point they had a four goal lead and Norway looked dead and buried, but they came steaming back. They tried everything at the end. But too many errors in the second half, still head in, in discussion with the Lat Latvian referees, but that's not going to make much difference at this stage, and Erevik is left to consider what might have been. 
Well, relief for Hungary, who become the 13th from Group B with Spain and Iceland to go through. And there, uh, the last few seconds, nearly stole it, and the referee was right there to say, no, that's mine. They had a free player, you could see on the right, look a boy, would have been straight away to shoot. It's that close. Well, an incredible ending to the game. Norway nearly pulling it off at the end, but somehow the Hungarians hung on. And sometimes psychologically they can just uh, panic a little bit, the Hungarians, in those uh, tight situations. But today they kept their heads. And despite the uh, 19 saves by Erevik, it's not enough, I'm afraid. Nikola making 12 at the other end. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, the relief. And they are through to the main round. They will go to Herning tomorrow to continue. Uh, Harvard Tveten gets man of the match for Norway. Seven goals from nine attempts. Tveten who plays for Old Ball, the local club here. Hard break for him. So close and yet so far. Norway will head home, well apart the course from Tveten and Ervik who live here. A few sad looking faces amongst the crowd, but all credit to Norway, they're entertained hugely and they've got a bright team for the future. And Nick Lair with 12 saves, a 32% save ratio, receives the Man of the Match award. But I think the team right now, the most important thing for them is, of course, qualification. They go through with one point. It's not the result Iceland wanted because it means Iceland also go through with that shared point only. And it's for their likelihood of uh, going through to the semi-finals in a main round group that will feature not only Spain who've beaten them, but also the host Denmark. Burgerlund. Very sad. 20 minutes play only in defence. But there were a lot of mistakes by uh, Norway in their play. They play fast and by definition that kind of comes with the turf in the end. The Hungarians did very well, they paced it well, they slowed it right down. It's from a four goal lead when you thought they were in control and were going to qualify comfortably, the Norwegians ate away at it and very nearly did it. We'll see them again, I'm quite sure of that. So now the competition moves on in a couple of days' time to the main round. Still tomorrow we have the Group C and D preliminary matches to be played. This consulate to Norwegian players on the bench and some fans as well, but the Hungarians who've made the trip, rewarded for their perseverance and their support. Tomorrow the groups in uh, Aarhus and Copenhagen will finish off and they will merge into one group in Aarhus. Third face of uh, Stefan Lukabuk, 26 year old. One of seven players making their debut at a major competition. They've done their country proud. And I'm sure when they look back and reflect on it, they will realize that uh, they've played some hugely entertaining handball. Well, let's look at the statistics then, and uh, very close on the attack 49 50%. It was all about defenses in the game on the field throws. Norway actually marginally more successful. Three fast breaks to the Norwegians. 11 uh, turnovers for Norway. There were nine at the end as the uh, Norwegians forced the pace. The four two minute suspensions to Hungary in the second half that uh, helped Norway try and get some traction and get back into the game. But in the end, the clock was just uh, a little bit ahead of them. It ended up all square. Tvetten for Norway, top scoring for them, Lecky for Hungary, both with seven, while Chazar and Schelling have six apiece. This is how the uh, match progressed, and there was a four nil spell when things just started to go wrong for the uh, 
but the Norwegians and the Hungarians got on top with a four-goal lead, but at the end, and the Norwegians turned that around. It was the Hungarians had the dry spell. So the wingers done reasonably well. Again, at the back, left and right back, not a lot going on, although in fairness to Angsen, a lot of his shots came from the middle when he drove around. Two fast breaks and four penalties from four. For the Hungarian team, well, for Norway, they missed one penalty, three fast breaks from four, otherwise a reasonable spread, not a lot straight down the middle, but those great shots by uh, Schelling from the left-hand side, a lot of the long-range efforts, six goals coming from that side. So in the end, Hungary hold on for the draw and go through to the main round with Spain and Iceland. Spain will go through with maximum points, while Iceland and Hungary will go through with one. And Norway, despite uh, picking up their first point of the competition, don't quite make it through. It's been an exciting evening here in Orbor. Thanks so much for watching with us. Hope you'll join us again. But until then, from me, Paul Bray, good night. <laughs>